This is a 23-year-old Division I college basketball player with refractory bilateral patella tendinosis going on for roughly four years. We did bilateral patella tendon, PRP injections under ultrasound guidance. We also did a tenotomy slash fenestration in addition to the PRP injections, and the patient did extremely well from this procedure. So here is a gross depiction of the platelet-rich plasma injection slash fenestration of the patella tendon. Initially we're injecting a little bit of PRP superficial to the patella tendon, and here we are we're doing a needle fenestration or tenotomy of the proximal patella tendon where his tendinosis lies. You can see you have to make multiple passes with the needle in order to elicit a healing response from a mechanical perspective. And here we are, we're injecting PRP within the tendon itself. Now we're going to look at some of the pertinent anatomy. Here's a normal patella tendon with half his fat pad just underneath that. You can see how it's kind of thin and cylindrical. And here's the thickened tendinotic tendon, which is thickened proximally with some calcification proximally as well. And there's patella tendinosis somewhat off-center in this particular patient. And here's the back side of the patella tendon, which again is thickened. And you can also see a calcific density on the undersurface of the tendon as well. And here's some of the bursa that are pertinent to this area, the prepatella bursa, the subcutaneous infrapatella bursa, and here's the deep infrapatella bursa as well. And here's our Hoffitt's fat pad again, and some of the structures are being brought back. And here's our quad musculature. Now we're bringing the leg into position. And we're starting the initial part of the procedure, which is essentially a platelet-rich plasma injection just superficial to the tendon. And here we are starting the needle fenestration or tenotomy, which helps elicit a healing response as it causes the tendon to bleed. And also we can break up some of those calcific bodies with the needle as well and help the body resorb those by mechanically breaking them up. And this procedure needs to be done with sterile gel and a sterile probe cover. As you can see, the needle is essentially right under the probe. And here we are, we're injecting the substance of the patella tendon with PRP, and that should conclude our procedure. Oh, you said you're good with pain. Clip. Jeez. Ah. Oh. Be a man after today. <laughs> you weren't before. Nah. <laughs> this is your oh. bar mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a patient, a uh, Division I uh, college basketball player with severe bilateral patella tendinosis. We uh, went ahead and did bilateral PRP injections. Here you can appreciate the proximal patella tendon with tendinosis and partial tearing proximally. Also there's irregularity of the proximal fibers as well. And now we're going to look at it in axial views. And looking at the uh, patella tendon. And here we are, we're going uh, distally towards the tibia tubercle where it inserts. And the distal part of the tendon is essentially intact, but the proximal part of the tendon shows partial tear and tendinosis. Here we are, we're going to his left knee. You can see some calcification both on the ultrasound and the x-ray in the proximal uh, patella tendon near the patella. Uh, you could call this bony avulsion. It may just be some calcification of a degenerative type of tendon. And here we are at the distal aspect of the tendon going into the tibia tubercle, which looks essentially preserved. Here we are doing axial views. You can see the patella with those calcifications just inferior to the patella, which could certainly be avulsions of the inferior patella. And here we are looking at the patella tendon, and we're going 
distally. His right knee does show increased signal within the proximal patellar tendon. So this is our gentleman's PRP. Here is the platelet sediment. This is platelet pore plasma. This is blood that we're going to discard and we are going to prep it. He's a 23-year-old male that has bilateral patellar tendinosis and the proximal third of his patellar tendon, pretty severe. May have had sending larsen johannesson syndrome when he was younger. It looks like in his left knee. Alright, so the needle's in. Wow, looks like a, a snowstorm on your leg there. <laughs> oh, your hairs are frosty. Clip. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like the hair on my chest. Only my knee. Feels like what? The hair on your chest? Yeah. This is like a Caribbean thing. When you get hair on your chest, you're a man. Oh yeah? <laughs> I was probably a man when I was maybe 10 years old, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Just trying to cover some ground. So here we are, we're doing basically a tenotomy. Uh, don't have ultrasound images to accompany it, but you essentially get the sense of what we're doing. We're just going in and out with the needle into into the tendon to try to elicit a healing response. All right, now we're going to start injecting it, okay? You injecting it now? <laughs> we're, we're, that was preparation for the injection. Is the injection going to hurt? Um, yeah, it probably will. I mean, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. try to stay still, okay? You're going to feel some pressure. So here's the needle basically oh. going right to the bone and we're uh, injecting it uh, basically within the tendon itself. That's that bright line that you see. Uh, uh. Okay, we're right where your most tender spot. I usually, uh. this is as bad as it should get, okay? It was worse than before. <laughs> <laughs> it's like putting alcohol in an open wound. Oh man, nah. I could take that. Hang in there, we're getting there. We're almost done. This is the worst one. Oh, man. <laughs> you keep saying that. But you can see how the PRP basically fills in any kind of defects within the tendon. So he opted to do both in one day. All right, now we're doing his other side. This side isn't as bad, and he has a little avulsion from his inferior patella. Color it was interesting that the right knee kind of lit up more on color dopplers compared to the left in the region of the proximal patellar tendon, uh, consistent with his uh, symptoms. Again, here on the left side, we're doing a tenotomy, uh, basically trying to go right into those calcifications slash avulsions of the uh, inferior patella. And here's the PRP. You can see a little blush of PRP going in the proximal patellar tendon. Basically, dedicated most of the PRP for the right knee, where uh, which was more symptomatic. About one month status post bilateral patellar tendon platelet plasma injections. And how you doing? Pretty good. A lot, a lot of pain is gone. I trip. The only problem I have is I got trip up the stairs a lot because I'm not accustomed to walking without a limp. So it's like I really have to like really teach me how to walk. Outside of that, no pain, nothing. So you're, how much, how much of your pain is gone? All of it's gone? I'd say about eight out of ten. But the right one, no pain. That was, and the right one was worse, right? Yeah. Well, you know, the left one we gave a little less PRP. Yeah. I think we kind of divvied it up six to four, or seven to three. Seven or something to like. three, yeah, I remember hearing that. Um, okay, but your left knee is also about eight out of ten better? Yeah. So, but your, and your right knee maybe nine out of ten? or About nine and a half. Okay, so the right knee is a lot better. All right. You haven't played basketball yet, though, right? I have once, for about three hours. <laughs> no pain. 